Um, a lot has gone on in the past couple of weeks. To anyone who is who follows both me and the channel of Mr. Winder underscore underscore TV, um, you guys know that there have been a lot of events, um, mostly owing to the fact that we, as a as a viewing public, have been very much strung, spun. Yeah, we've been spun a real yarn. I think it's fair to say. The Winderland Corp have been promising ages and ages and ages. There's gonna be Winderland Zoo project challenge thing coming, and it just goes back and back and back. And in recent weeks, the complications re relating to all of this have reached the point of the absurd. I think it's fair to say. Um, and even more recently, Winder has gone down a very, um, very much a legal route, Try, trying to clear his name for the various things uh, that I have been, I wouldn't say claiming, I've just been saying what is happening, um, with viewers being screwed out of a zoo, um, and the blaming of certain parties uh, for certain events, such as lorries turning over, uh, animals reaching untimely ends, all this sort of thing. Um, and we were very, very proud last stream um, to bring young Master Tep, Mr. Tep, the so-called traitor Tep that some sickos had been calling him. Um, we were very proud to bring him aboard um, because I think it's fair to say he got out at the right time. Um, it, it, it was a toxic, toxic work environment. Uh, and also one where, tragically, I, I'm un under the understanding that Relly, at, despite being a mod over at Winder underscore underscore TV, wasn't being paid, which I found absolutely remarkable. I was like, there's just no way that a mod of that caliber is not receiving a healthy paycheck. So we brought him on board. Don't worry, he's now fully on the payroll, as I, as I understand it. The payroll department have said all his payments have gone out. Um, he's living in a mansion. So we fortunately relieved Relly of that terror position. Um, but I've been hearing pretty disturbing things that have come out even since then. That even other beloved members of staff of, Windl of the Windland family, such as the Italian, are no longer employed. Um, which I find extremely disturbing because I feel that, all right, you can sling mud as much as you like at Relly, okay? He's a cheeky northern lad, but what, 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 what did the Italian ever do? All she ever does was just announce the things. All she ever does is just come on and say like, "Hey, good, nice folks," like, ba 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 ba, and then like she says how good all the rides are. And now I'm hearing that, oh, she's an absolute angel, absolute angel, but now I'm, I'm hearing that even she has had enough. I have received um, a little wrap up, uh, a, li a little catch up, if you will, um, of more recent events uh, by means of Bertie Fernsworth. Now, Bertie did a little news report for us uh, last time, uh, and we've actually got uh, a slightly more up to date version of that. Um, so uh, over to you, uh, Mr. Bertie Fernsworth. Hello, this is Bertie Fernsworth of Bertie Fernsworth News, and there have been shocking developments in the Winterland and Winter Zoo situation. After the wolves had devoured the poor, poor, poor deer, Winterland has issued a statement basically blaming everybody but themselves. They certainly don't want to take any responsibility for whatever they did. They blamed everything on a scapegoat. And in further news, we heard that Mr. Rally Matap has been fired from Winner Corporation, totally not related to whoever drove the truck. Now, Mr. Rally Tap has found new accommodations at the Good Nice, and as I have heard, has been taken care of and is very well at the moment. That's not 
something we could say for the deer, most of them who are now uh, in hospital on med on, under medical care. Uh, it's just to see what is going to happen to them because they have nothing to return to because Wonderland Zoo has been cancelled. Another blamage by Windercorp. This was Bertie Fernsworth with Bertie Fernsworth News. So, um, pretty, pretty sobering stuff. Hope that answers any questions you may have had um, regarding the, the events of the past couple of weeks. And that, that should more or less bring you uh, up to speed. Um, anyway, uh, I'm, I'm very, very, I'm very, I'm very saddened by this whole situation with Winda. Um, because in the past, I feel like myself and the Winda man have worked very, very well together. Incredibly, in, in return for this, um, I essentially feel that like I've been defamed. Uh, and the good nice has been defamed. But it's very sad when you think about it. When you think about the, the grand past that we have shared together, we have been planning for a while um, to take action uh, on this, um, the good nights, because it's not just a matter of um, of, uh, of of wildlife. It's not just a matter of incompetence, possibly even incontinence. This is Winder we're talking about, but it's a matter of libel. It's a matter of slander. It's the fact that he's brushed all of this issue back onto you, folks. Make no mistake. I always say you are the thing. And when, it, when, he, when he completely just knocks this back right at the good nights, he's doing this at you. So you need to think about what that means. So we've been thinking about how best to combat this situation of this whole project being ruined, of being cancelled, of people being let down. Um, and I've been thinking about the, the best and most efficient way of doing this, um, particularly on stream uh, and in a means where we can utilize um, our man power. So there is something I have to go and get to do this. So I'm gonna have to ask that you please, please don't go anywhere. Stay right there. I'll be back in just a minute with just the ticket. <laughs> Folks, 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 folks. The two week challenge. Now. In zoo form! Guys, eagle eared amongst ye may have heard on Windows Stream. You may have heard the Bella Brava, the wildlife reserve over by this lake in Italy, had a buyer. Had a buyer in the past week, and um, I don't know how he managed to uh, to keep his mouth shut. Um, well, actually, maybe he was genuinely 
Maybe he was genuinely fooled. Because we bought this using the name Rel E Metep. Uh, and I actually, looking back at it, kind of feel that maybe that genuinely just completely went over his head. Uh, and he had no idea. Uh, but yeah! Uh, we bought this uh, cute little wildlife reserve. So it came at an absolute song. Um, I say that, it's completely cleared me out. It did all come basically from me, um, personally. But I've decided, we've decided, a, lot, a, a real brain trust among us, decided that if this guy can't even get this two week challenge going for the zoo, there's no reason why we can't. And I know this means Cockwaddle buying Planet Zoo. And that hurt, let me tell you that much, that hurt. I know this means Cockwaddle buying a bunch of DLC. And I know this means also being gifted a fair bit of DLC from, from Fuera. Um, but that's what we're gonna do. We, we ain't gonna let a good thing die. We love the two-week challenge, despite the megalomaniac who runs it. We love the two-week challenge around here. I've said for ages it's basically the best thing going in terms of Planet Coaster community stuff. And so we're not going to let it die, even if it is on Planet Zoo. So we've got it! We've got Bella Brava, uh, and this is our lovely town, um, expertly assembled out of blueprints. Uh, nothing we can do about that. Sorry, guys. Uh, but very, very pretty nonetheless. I've got to say, I am pretty impressed um, with some elements of Planet Zoo. It does look nice. I know that we're seeing this on this particularly cloudy, misty day. Um, but the nature and everything does look really quite bloody nice. And I don't know who made this map. Um, but it's really quite a nice one too, uh, this wildlife reserve. I mean, I say wildlife reserve. It's hard to pinpoint exactly what wildlife on it uh, has actually been preserved. Um, because what we have is a state of chaos. Uh, I believe that there was a plan for all of this sort of crescent-shaped land to be used um, to make, you know, a functioning zoo. Um, but then we've had exactly all of the uh, all of the events that we've described. And generally flabbergasted, said, "I didn't know about this. I've told you all from the very beginning. Decisions are above my pay grade at Winterland Court. Genuinely hurt above your pay grade." As CEO. Well, you know what? May maybe they do have some system where maybe he's got like the Austrian one step above him or something. I wouldn't be up to me to judge, but absurd. The absurdity that comes out of this man's mouth. He answers to the board of directors, does he? How does that work? At Winderland? Um, he is a childlike moral to be fair. You saw him uh, on air. I saw him in person, mate, yeah. Um, some things you don't come back from, indeed. Um, so, it is going to be the same format that we all know and love. One builder gets two weeks, they get an area, and they get some stipulations to build in. I, I will tell you right now that the first builder has got more of a clear-up job than anything. Um, while uh, in the 2 week challenge there were pretty clear plots uh, and pretty clear, uh, like, for example, rides and things like that, uh, all I'll say is this. The first builder, whoever they may be, um, has up to about here. You can actually see the edge of it right there. And in that land, they can do whatever they like, except I will need to round up all four of the animal types that have been let loose upon this park. There are no fewer than four uh, wild groups of animals uh, in Bella Brava. We have the wolves right here, who have just finished their delicious deer dinner. We're, we're paying dearly for the mistake of Wonderland. Uh, I thought that would be better. Um, there are some surviving deer out there. There are badgers. I know we have a lot of the badger fans out there. Uh, and there are goats uh, wandering out in the wild. So your first job, uh, esteemed first builder, whoever you may be, will be to collect all four of those and stick them in perfectly serviceable habitats in there. But that ain't all. We are gonna need an official park entrance. And I want this church at the moment 
completely untouched, please, if you will. And we're going to need one food amenity, like shop, not a vending machine. One drink, shop, and two habitats, not habitats, exhibits, my mistake. Uh, people who don't know, thank you, Mikey, love to see you as well. People who don't know Planet Zoo, um, there are habitats, which is like your normal big areas where animals live, and then you can get exhibitions, which is almost like your glass case, and tarantulas, lizards, yada, yada, yada. Um, all I will say to you, potential builder, is that I want the uh, creatures in the exhibit to, as as good as possible, match a bit of a European theme. Um, because all of the animals, uh, all of your four animals that have described, been described here, are of vaguely Eurasian, mostly European descent. Um, but who is that builder? That is the question. Who's going to be getting to work over the next two weeks, um, christening, if you will, this huge new project, this absolutely auspicious day has got to be crowned by a builder to take on this project. Uh, and you'll never guess who we have to announce such a thing. I mentioned it earlier. Who has been heartlessly jettisoned from the Winderland uh, project, if you will? It is, of course, you know her, you love her. She's the Italian. Hello, good nice people, and welcome to the groundbreaking first ever two-week challenge zoo. With the complete failure of the Winderland Group to meet the contractual obligations of the project, the rights to the land at Bella Brava in Italy have been passed to the Good Nice Corporation, who have gladly taken on all building responsibilities. While the construction of Shipley Lake continues with Winderland Great Britain, blindly joining an oversaturated theme park market, the Good Nice proudly takes on this long-awaited project in order to deliver the level of customer satisfaction that other communities can only dream of. After the irresponsible actions of staff within the Winderland Corporation, I had to get out. I know Cockwaddle well from his contractual work with previous Winderland projects and decided to reach out for help. My hometown of Bella Brava deserves a professional caring approach, something that the clumsy hoofs of Winderland could never dream of. After some back and forth with the authorities, the Goodness Corporation have taken full control of the area and thanks to a large cash injection from Copwodol himself, we are now ready to move forward with a full host of builders who are all ready to make my dream a zoological reality. The Good Nights will not let us down like other communities have. With all that said, please welcome the first builder of the site. Fuero 1982. Woo! You know I'm in love him, folks. You know him. You fucking love him. Fuero! Ah, it's Fuero 1982. Uh, a guy with a hell of a lot of uh, Planet Zoo vintage. Is that the word I'm looking for? Planet Zoo of great Planet Zoo vintage. Plenty of Planet Zoo experience. I'm overwhelmed with surprise. Fuera had no idea uh, this, this, this was covered. Um, Fuera, I could not be um, much more excited. Um, to hand this over to you. That one works. Yeah, yeah, that'll do. That'll do. Um, I couldn't be more, much more excited to hand this over to you. Um, not only because of your um, yards and yards of, uh, of Plan of Planzo's skill, um, but because of your occasional seething hatred uh, of, of the man that is Winder, uh, as I think we all do in some way or another. I mean, even when we love him, you do have to hate him. Uh, and I think Fuero does that uh, better than anybody. Um, so as I say, I'm just going to go over these stipulations for you uh, one more time, Fuero. Um, and then it really will be over to you to we'll have no other bit, uh, no other further business to address today at all. Uh, most because I've got to go apply for a job. Um, but yeah. Um, so this will be your area. It is currently outlined um, by the, I believe, by the, the wolf habitat. If it will allow me click on this yeah this is your Europe area 
Um, and this is going to be our park entrance. Please keep the church where it is. Um, so have something along here that acts as a an entrance. Um, you're free if you like to make this road down to the car park a little more grand. Um, but that is entirely optional. That's just bonus points. If you don't do it, I will. Um, and then as I say, badgers, wolves, deer, goats. And that should be easy enough because they're, all, they're quite literally already in the park. So it's just a case of moving them into the right place. One food, one drink, two exhibitions. Uh, I'm sorry, and yeah, and a toilet, and a toilet. Um, the only other thing I'll ask of you, um, uh, Fuero, by a very strange clause in the purchase agreement, uh, we have actually, actually bought this lorry. Uh, incredibly, that was included in the deal. Um, and I don't want to be wasteful. So I just want the lorry somewhere. Um, preferably intact, but if it can't be fixed, it can't be fixed. I mean, our hearts go out to it. Uh, it was a terrible accident that happened. A bean tin rolling under the brake pedal. Who amongst us? Never seen that truck in my... Exactly. It, do it doesn't even matter who it was. But whoever it was, a bean tin rolling under the... It's fine. It's fine. It happens to it, literally every single one of us. Fuero, how do you feel? Are you up to it? Are you uh, are you up for the job? Fuero says he knows some handymen. Nice. Okay. Didn't expect the entrance, uh, but I have plans. Okay, lovely stuff. It doesn't have to be anything too fancy. Look, we we're building a relatively low budget thing here. We bought this with pretty much most of our funds, so you don't have to go too insane. Um, I'm doing fancy, I'll pay for it myself even. That's the kind of generosity you get in the good nights, isn't it? You don't get that over it with the builders choosing to pay for their own stuff. My friends here at the good nights, this is out of my hands and you've all turned on me. I'm, go I'm going to go now. Alright guys, keep your eyes peeled on window underscore underscore TV for any further developments or deer butchering. Uh, we will see. I mostly wanted to come, uh, come on here to... Um, well, to clear the good nice's name because Winder has had plenty of streams lately and he's had plenty of chances to read out his legalese and all these statements and denials and deflections um, thank you for your support in this in this new project good nice forever bye bye <laughs> Thank you.